Hey everybody, it's Emma. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video. I'm going to be doing uh, an April Favorites, but I'm going to be doing more of kind of a recap of some makeup that I tried last month and um, whether or not it worked out for me. Pretty much most of the products that I talked about in my last favorites, <laughs> it, it, those are still kind of the items that I've been reaching for the most. Um, most days, honestly, I have been doing kind of my gym makeup, if you saw that video, um, pretty much with those products. So I haven't really been branching out too much in terms of my everyday routine, but I did want to share with you some things that I tried this month um, that I liked, that I didn't. So let's dive in. The thing I'm most excited to share with you, I do believe I have found my perfect SPF lip balm. I know it's a it's a miracle. <laughs> if you've watched uh, more of my videos, you may have seen my quest to find the perfect SPF lip balm, one that actually feels moisturizing. It doesn't feel too heavy or sticky, um, maybe doesn't leave a white cast, and also something that I don't end up eating. I find that SPF lip balms often either don't feel very moisturizing, they're thick, they're heavy, and or as I breathe <laughs> or talk or live in general, um, the formula somehow gets into my face and I eat it and it tastes disgusting. And I don't like that. Um, but I found one that both feels moisturizing and doesn't end up in my mouth. And that is <laughs> the Pacifica Sun and Lip Care SPF 30. This is the tint free version. Now I had tried Pacifica's SPF lip balm, I think last year, they had a couple of different shades, and it was all right, um, but it was tinted. I didn't always want um, a color on my lips, and it did feel a little bit dry and kind of almost like it was an exfoliator, uh, although it wasn't. <laughs> so, you know, it was not the worst of the SPF lip balms I had tried. Um, but it certainly wasn't the best. But this one, oh my God. It's inexpensive, cruelty-free, it's V, yep, it's vegan, um, SPF 30, water resistant for 80 minutes. It smells like coconut cream. It's got, it's not necessarily a super natural, like coconut oil sort of smell. Um, it has some sweetness but it's not nauseating, at least to me, um, but be aware if that's something that you don't like, you might not like this. Uh, it is, it feels very moisturizing, like I would reach for this just if I needed a little moisture in my lips, not necessarily just because I need an SPF. It does not end up in my face. I've been using this for about a week. So it's a pretty recent addition to my collection, but I was just so excited about it. I had to throw it into this video. Um, it's technically a May favorites if I think about it, but let's just pretend <clears throat> it's awesome. If you are picky about your SPF lip balms, if you're in need for one, I recommend trying this out. Next up are a couple of skincare items, and they're both from Trader Joe's. The first one is the Rose Water Facial Toner. This, I actually have not really been using on my face. It has great ingredients. It's very, it's a small ingredients list. You know, kind of your typical toner ingredients. Got, it's got rose water. It's got some witch hazel glycerin for moisturization. But it does have a little bit of fragrance um, and a couple of possibly irritating ingredients at the bottom of the ingredients list. I have super sensitive skin, so... I've used this a couple times on my face and haven't really noticed anything, but I tend to actually use this on my body. I'm not always great about um, lotioning <laughs> the rest of me, even though it's important skin also. And I find that this is not only a very quick, um, but also a very refreshing way to just give the rest of my skin a little bit of a boost. Maybe this is gross. I don't know. I don't shower every single day if, you know, I don't feel like I need to. So this can be a nice thing for me to just kind of spray on myself at the beginning of the day, kind of wake my skin up. It smells nice. 
it does it's not a smell that lasts you know it's not a perfume it's not designed to do that but i just find it to be really nice for the rest of my body if you have less sensitive skin it might be a nice um, spray for your face but i don't regret purchasing this even even if i'm not using it in its specific intended placement <laughs> um the second thing is i tried the hyaluronic moisture boost serum this again i think it has five ingredients in it it's very simple um and it's very nice i have no problem with it my favorite hyaluronic acid thing is this um toner from is in tree this has changed my skin it's one of those products that I just love my skin loves it um, these do basically the same thing but my skin does seem to just like this better this doesn't irritate or break me out or anything but I don't know if you can relate to that feeling of your skin just preferring certain products over others this is definitely my favorite but this is a great inexpensive cruelty free way to play with hyaluronic acid especially you know if maybe you're not purchasing from the ordinary right now <laughs> this is a a good simple hyaluronic acid treatment so check it out if you're having some dehydration issues and you don't live in a super dry environment so this month i have been on a quest for a good concealer i am almost out of my wet n wild photo focus concealer i actually almost used up the entire thing I'm a little bit proud of myself I'm not gonna lie and I like it it's okay I would buy it again um, and not be too upset about it but I would love something that doesn't crease that's my one problem with the wet and wild so I tried initially and I don't have this product anymore I returned it spoiler alert on how I liked it <laughs> um, I tried the Catrice liquid camouflage I heard amazing things about that product and while I did like how it looked on my skin, I only used it once because, for some reason, it's fragranced. <sighs> now, I, I, because I only used it once, I didn't actually notice um, any irritation on my skin exactly, but my eyes got that kind of hazy burn. If your face gets too close to perfume, you know what I mean? That happened to my eyes all day. So that's absolutely pointless I returned it and picked up instead this Ulta Beauty um, a full coverage waterproof liquid concealer I have it in light warm not a fan of this either I don't know if I'm gonna I'm probably gonna return it I hate returning things um, and I hate habitually returning things but I really don't like this concealer I find it to be a little bit too yellow it was the closest skin match that I could find in their range um, and I find that it is patchy and very dry looking I don't have dry skin um, and even though I tried putting this on under my eyes directly after moisturizing there didn't seem to help don't know why my voice just broke <laughs> um, but I just I don't I don't like this I I it doesn't look good on my face so I don't know I might have to bring it back I have been actually doing some some better research on <laughs> concealers and I've heard some good things about the flower beauty concealer and also the number seven so if you have any suggestions for um, a good under eye concealer that doesn't crease if it could possibly be at the drugstore that would be great um something not too emollient i don't have super dry under eyes but certainly not very dry I, I have no interest in the shape tape i know that's a very dry formula and it also i believe has fragrance in it not my jam um, but if you have any suggestions i am open a win for me however this month is this nyx epic ink liner I have been on the hunt for a good standard liquid black eyeliner um, Fira Nix recommended this in her cruelty free dupes video um, and she said this is a pretty good dupe for Kat Von D's trooper eyeliner which is something that I've always wanted to try but couldn't justify 
actually purchasing <laughs> because if I can find one that's cheaper, that's great. I really like it. I'm wearing it today. I mean, my, my eyeliner usually looks wonky when I wear it like this because my eyelids are wonky, but I find that this is super easy to use. It's a very pigmented formula. The tip is great. It is nice and thin. Um, and it's, you know, it's flexible without being too wishy-washy. It's kind of that perfect, it's the perfect eyeliner tip in my opinion. Um, it lasts amazingly. It's not impossible to get off of your face at the end of the day though. So it's just an all around really great eyeliner. And then last but not least of the kind of newer things that I picked up in April is this uh, mascara from Essence. This is the hashtag lashes of the day. It's a stupid name or I'm just, I'm getting old folks. Either way, I really love this mascara. It has a beautiful brush in my opinion. It is small but dense. It's got a little bit of a um, kind of an hourglass shape. I find it very easy to use. I am wearing it today. It is not a lengthening mascara and it's not necessarily a separating mascara. So it's not gonna give you kind of long fluttery lashes. It actually is a little, I don't know, I can't tell if you can see this or not. Um, it's a little bit clumpy, but in a way that I like, kind of, you know, messy, sexy, clumpy. It's not like, oh, I have three giant eyelashes, kind of clumpy. It's not waterproof or anything. And actually the first time I used this, I was like, oh crap, because I noticed that it transferred on my lower lash line. Although I've not experienced that since, and I've been using it for, I think three weeks now, pretty much every day. So. I really, I haven't heard about this mascara. I dig it. If you like that kind of really volumized, kind of messy look, then this might be something to check out. And then just really quickly, some other things that I've been kind of continuing to enjoy. This Kristen Leanne palette I continue to love. Um, this shade Corona I've been using a lot just as a single just a one eyeshadow look. I'll put that on my lid, kind of blend it through my crease, it's one and done. Um, Spitfire has been really fun. I've been doing this kind of pink, pink berry eye that I've really been enjoying. Um, it's just a great palette that I continue to get use out of when I play with eyeshadow. Continuing to love and reach for Sunset Junction, the blush and glow trio, I dropped it. <laughs> and so the top doesn't stay on it, but it didn't shatter, which is incredible. I'm wearing the um, bronzer and the blush today. It's just, the formula is beautiful. Um, I've either been going for Moon Tears from Wet n Wild. This is in their goth collection, obviously. Um, it's a great, very glossy looking highlighter, or I've been using the Hello Halo liquid highlighter in Halo Goodbye. Um, I want to get one of the more golden tone ones of that. I have been continuing to play with White Raven, but mostly actually as an eyeshadow. I'm wearing it today. This has kind of been a look that I've been doing somewhat frequently. Uh, it gives me kind of a, a little bit of a 60s vibe. I really like it. This is still a fun highlighter to wear on my face if I'm going for that sort of look. It's, it's not a natural and it is swatched out. This is the second time I'm filming this because I had something on my face that I didn't notice the first time around. That's annoying, but it doesn't have the most natural look on the skin. So I only wear this as a highlighter if I'm doing a, a full look where it doesn't look out of place, if that makes any sense. And other than that, I continue to dive ever deeper into a slightly unhealthy obsession with critical role. Um, so if any of you are fellow critters, let's chat about that. Or if you are into D&D, &D, fantasy, gaming, or just entertaining and enjoyable people, I recommend checking it out. Get ready to have hundreds of hours of your life taken, <laughs> but you'll enjoy every minute of it. And I, like I said, if any of you are already fans, I would love to chat about it. Other than that, 
life is good. I hope life is good for you. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, recommendations, let me know what you've been loving this month. And I appreciate you taking the time to watch. I'll see you later. Bye guys.